What music does Cheese listen to? R and Brie? <laughs> Hi, I'm Vanessa, and I am the moon. And I don't stare at the stars, because I only have eyes for you, Earth. So, back in 1969, Australia relayed the very first images of the moon landing via the Honeysuckle Creek dish outside of Canberra to the rest of the world. Never forget. But now we know that the moon is drifting about four centimetres further away from Earth every year. But what would happen if the moon just packed up and bailed for good? Or if it was knocked out of orbit or destroyed by aliens? Sure, it's unlikely, but what would happen to our planet and our lives if the moon just disappeared? Excuse me. So what do you think would happen, either to you or the planet, if the moon disappeared? Antarctica would overflow. <laughs> I don't know. Isn't the moon important for, I don't know. At night, there wouldn't be light, I guess? Well, you know, the moon controls the tides and stuff and the weather, so there you go. <laughs> Gravitational issues. Goodbye Earth, literally. Goodbye Earth? Yeah. I don't think it would be a good thing. Our moon is actually pretty large, proportionate to the size of our planet. And recent research on the universe suggests that big moons like ours might be fairly rare. Our moon exerts a large gravitational effect on Earth, which in turn impacts many things that you and I experience, including the obvious one, tides. Tides are the result of the moon exerting its gravitational force on the oceans and bulging it both upward and away from the moon. So the oceans are higher at locations closer to the moon. As the Earth rotates, the position relative to the moon changes and the sea level goes up and down as the bulge passes that location. Okay, refocus. Let's imagine that this netball is the Earth. Now, around 4.5 billion years ago, a giant Mars-sized asteroid spectacularly crashed into our planet. And from that, a chunk broke off, which is how the Moon formed. Now, it's believed that the Moon stabilised the Earth at its current axial tilt, between 22 and 25 degrees. And without the Moon, this tilt wouldn't exist. Our seasons would disappear, weird things would start happening to the climate, and we would just be wobbling all over the place. And that's just the beginning. Many aquatic animals rely on the tides caused by the moon, such as turtles that use high tide to head ashore and lay their eggs. Some nocturnal predatory animals rely on a full moon for more light for hunting. Also, werewolves wouldn't have a full moon to transform themselves into vicious creatures. Huh. Oh. And one expert thinks a few other things might change too. What exactly would happen to the tides if the moon disappeared? The, the main uh, cause of the tides on Earth is the moon, but we do have uh, tides caused by the sun. So the sun is a much, much larger gravitational body, much more massive, but it is much further away. So its tides are, I think, about one third the strength of the, the lunar tide. So if we didn't have the lunar tides, we would still have tides, but they'd be much weaker. You know, we wouldn't have surfing, really. The tide wouldn't be very strong, so the, the swell wouldn't be very large, and so the waves would be smaller. I, I've heard that the moon kind of puts a break on the Earth's spin. Is there any truth to that? If it disappeared, I imagine actually that the day would get shorter quite quickly because when the, the Earth first formed, there was no moon. So one day was about six hours. So when the moon came very soon after, that did put a big break on it and slowed it right down to just under 22, uh, 22 hour days. And now they're at 24. You could only assume that the Earth would start rotating faster and our days would become shorter and we'd have less time to do all the things we love doing. Would that mean I'd only have to work yeah. for like three hours a day? <laughs> <laughs> it depends on your boss. 
So without a moon, the Earth gets a little screwy. Animals are upset and our culture may crumble like a handful of cheese. So I hope you appreciate all the good the moon does for you. I am the moon. And one day a cow jumped over me and then it left and I'm quite lonely now.